Hey, good morning, everyone. Monday. Ah, the dreaded day of the week. But Monday morning, the 18th of May, 2020. And I trust that you had a blessed weekend. This morning, we bounce away with something that I thought would be appropriate as we started this new week. And it's entitled, Start Afresh. And with this, we go into our reading, which is from Psalm chapter 51, from verses 10 to 12. And it reads, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence, or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. <clears throat> Psalm chapter 51 is one of those psalms that we normally recite at the Ash Wednesday service as we enter into the period of Lent. And this psalm is the prayer of David after the prophet Nathan came to talk to him about his sin with Bathsheba. And we can read that story in 2 Samuel chapter 11 and 12. But after hearing about this, Nathan, a prophet of God, visits David and tells him a story about a rich man who steals a poor man's favorite lamb. Needless to say, David became very angry and called for the punishment of the rich man. Nathan gently reminded David, he said to him, but you are that man. And this shocked David into the realization of what he had done. He is sorry, he is contrite, and he plainly says that he has sinned against the Lord. He doesn't try to explain away his sin or make excuses. He simply turns his heart to God and confesses. David does not spend the entire psalm laying out his sin. He does that in the beginning, and you can read that. But he also moves on. He asks God to create a clean heart, and then he turns to praise. The wonderful thing about this is we have the knowledge and the assurance that we serve a God who is truly able to forgive us. Here's a question for you. How often do we get irked by the actions of others without giving any thought to our own actions? How often do we criticize others for what they've done or what they've said, yet we do not allow our own thoughts and actions to be purified by the Holy Spirit? As I was Thinking about this, I thought about a little hymn that we normally sing in church as well. And if you want to know, it's number 69 in the Mission Praise. Change my heart, O God. And I'll read the first verse, which is also the chorus. It reads, Change my heart, O God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, O God. May I be like you. And so, my dear friends, brothers and sisters, as we go into this week, let us start afresh. Let us not allow things of the past to hold us back. Let us not allow the words of others to hold us back, but rather turn to the one who is able to forgive us, who is able to restore us. May the Lord be with you, may he bless you, may he cause his face to shine upon you, and be with you always. Amen. <clears throat>